Met any nice lady dogs lately? Why why are you asking my dog those kind of things? That's a little creepy, man. Little creepy indeed. Alrighty. Hey guys and welcome back to Fable 2. My voice has reached levels of a better than I knew were possible. But I didn't actually trust it to get there. Um I wish all my No, naturally since it's been down for a while. Uh it's not gonna sound that great. Because obviously if your voice is gone for a while. Okay, let's look for my Come look my sister time. again. You're and I am back as I used to be. All dressed up and ready to go instead of him being in my spire outfit. Which I hate. Everybody well not hate, it's cool, it's just like it's just the outfit that is used for the bad guys, and I don't want to be like that. I might wear it in my evil let's play though. Um so yeah. Yeah, since my voice has been down for a while, my voice is still gonna sound a little annoying. But I'm sure we'll deal with it. Um I feel pretty fine now. Alrighty, hey guys, and welcome back to Fable 2. You may be wondering, why am I here? We were just finishing the Tattered Spire. Yeah, I recorded for like an hour and a half. I want to, oh, there's a kid over here. I want to try to explain this as in detail as I can, without wasting too much time. So basically, I've only done side quests so far in those hour and a half that I recorded. And missions that I did was, I finished off the mission where you pay that guy at Westcliff. And it turns out that after you come back from the Tattered Spire, Westcliff is all different. I'm going to show you later if I have to go back there. But um, basically, instead of there being some kind of shelter area for the pub and stuff, there's a big statue in the middle of the area now. Um, and it just looks like it's actually aged. Whoa! Oh, fuck, man. Took me out of my animation of opening the, se opening the chest. That's never happened before. Was this guy just there and he attacked me, or... Is that what happens when you open the chest? I don't know. But, yeah. West Coast is completely different. That guy gives you, like, 15,000 gold. Even though you only gave him 1,000 before, so it's very good. Um, you get heaps of Reno, like, 1,500. Um, the mission after that, did after that, um, was Hob Squatters. There was this guy. Oakfield called Tommy. He asks you to go to his house because Hobbs is home in the place. And you may remember when we first went to Oakfield, we explored the place. Uh, I think it was the episode where I had no mic at the time, so there was no commentary. But when you come in from the Rookridge side, aside, to the left of that, down this grassy area, or down this tree area, there is a structure, I'm just going to call it that because I can't think of the name right now. When you go in, you go into a cave, and we went into there, but then we needed a key to go into the rest of the area. Um, and inside there was lots of hobs, and throughout the area there are these books explaining that someone is living with the hobs, and they're slowly becoming like a hob. They were flipping caravans with the other hobs, taking people for food, and stuff like that. And it turns out Tommy, who gave you the mission, was actually the one, and he tries killing you because he thinks, um, he is a hob. So he ended up trying to kill you. You kill him, get the key, go free. Uh, the mission I did after that was called, uh, that one was called Hob Squatters. This one was called The Bride Call or something, or The, the uh, Blind Date. Yeah, Blind Date. And basically, I believe, um, there was a mission in Brightwood where you can either help the bandits kill this farmer called Giles, or you can help Giles kill the bandits. I chose to help him, and so I was able to do this mission. And what did you have to do? I know I'm doing this mission. Hang on. Explain it to the people because I screwed up. Uh, basically, he has a son, and he wants his son to get a date, and you have to go to Bowerstone with a picture of the son. And so it turns out, this is the, I'm not sure what year this game is based in, but taking pictures of someone is a new thing. So the picture was very low res, 
but the girl rec um the the girl you find thought he was cute and gave you his her details and when you go there go to his house the son is like oh I don't like girls he doesn't specifically say it but I originally thought this was going to end badly like this the dad was going to assume something wrong like oh you don't like girls then you must like whatever but I think what he actually means is he likes guys um and so the dad accepts him and they make a plan to actually move into the city and so you can basically buy the farm off him now and when you buy the farm um so yeah you can buy the place and when you do you get a note and the note is basically Giles saying don't go into my cupboard on the top floor don't get my key don't go into the cellar which <laughs> also two things one when you get the key it's n it's called stealing so you you own the house but because the key is something he doesn't want you to get, he's left it in the house, but he's still calling it his property. So I found that a little weird, but understandable, I guess, in a game logic kind of thing. If it was a um, a realistic thing, anything in the house, if you buy it, and they've failed to move it out in time, it's yours. Come on. Unless you're nice enough to give it back, it's technically yours, and it shouldn't be legally stealing. Um, I know, dog, don't worry. But yeah, I tried looking for the cellar. It turns out it was in the building next to you. I should have realized that. I should have realized, oh, this whole area is his. So it could be anywhere, not just around the house. I see a cellar's in the warehouse. And when you go in, it's basically called the Prom... Something Cullen. Uh, Cullis. Uh, Pro Cullis or something, I forget. Port Cullis, I think. And it's just basically these undead, you have to step on these blue switches, open gates, stuff like that. And basically the prize of it is, and your dog's meant to sniff it out immediately, but if it doesn't, you have to go out and then walk back in, which was what I had to do. You can get a gun. And it's this gun. The Blunderbuss. It is so powerful. It's 177 damage. Only one bullet in it. It's a shotgun, basically. And it takes one second to reload. Um, so, after that, I think I went straight to the archaeologist mission. I don't really remember anything before that. Uh, so basically, I did like three missions of those. One of them was in Oakvale, one of them was in Brightwood, one of them was in, uh, Bower Lake. Another one was in, I forget where. Unless that's the one I'm on right now. In which case, the message says, it's... It's clear that the next artifact lies buried close to a road. Is it possible it could be the winding path by the ocean? And I didn't actually think of this at first. I actually thought Power Lake or the Westcliff part were at least the port, because that's like a winding path. But this place is actually a winding path if you look at it on the map, and it leads to Westcliff, which is the ocean. So, yeah. Anyway, I was making my way through here last time before I had to go to bed. So, you basically caught up. I'm sorry. I had to go through that again. I hate it. Honestly, I hate it when I have to explain things. Because it is. It ruins the fun. It ruins the fun of the Let's Play. I don't want that. I do these for fun. So having to explain everything, especially when my voice is like this, just makes it so much worse for you guys, and I'm sorry. I never actually realized this place before. Wow, this side area is amazing. Hi? What are you? I'm gonna do this first. Yeah. This whole parchment is somewhat worn by Paris the Time. It appears to be blank except for three dots in the top right corner. What? Okay, what's this?
I feel like this isn't going to trap. I didn't have to do anything big to get him. Money bag. Nope, doesn't seem to be a trap. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go back to the archaeologist. Haven't you found it yet? Very good. You've done a great service for anthropology and all that. Nice. Everything and another one. Wonderful. I have another archaeological adventure for you if you're interested. Here is what I have on the item so far. Don't let archaeology down. All the clues are gathered about the next artifact point to it being buried under what one scrolls described as sea licked sand looked upon by a mountain edged with battle. Whatever that means. That's Westcliff. Obviously, Westcliff. It's the sea, and there's a bloody tournament thing there. I keep on calling it a tournament. It's just. Uh, arena. Not really a tournament. I like tournaments. One of my favorite games, uh, even though it's not really a big story, is actually Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. Uh, for the Xbox 360, at least. That's the one I've got it on. And that's because I love the tournament. The tournament stage. It's fun. Especially when you can make your own character and use them there. Hey. Thanks, I guess. Can I jump down? No. Ancient scroll. Written on it is a recipe for three bean casserole, except that the ingredients only call for the use of two types of beans. <laughs> God damn it. People who don't know how to cook in this universe. There's more daring exploits in the field of retrieving ancient objects buried in the ground. That is, if you're up for it. I'm always up for it. I have unearthed some details that should guide you. Is this like the ninth one? I haven't been able to gather many clues about the next artifact. I believe it is in a cave by a beach somewhere. Probably not far from the region where one of the previous artifacts were found. Which one, though, I cannot tell. A cave? A guild cave? That was in Bell Lake. I'm gonna try that. It seems like the most weird area to have one of these. But the Guild Cave is sort of everyone's knowledge because of the fact that everyone knows about the Guild. So it's not weird that she's able to point it to there. Though I'd love to find her way of finding these. Like, she thinks it's in a certain place. But it might not be. And it's so obscure. Yeah, there's clearly only one place it could be. It's so weird.
I walked all this way just to find out that you can't get back up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's not the Guild Cave, though. I'm trying to teleport to, like, anywhere. But it's saying I'm in a mission. And that's because I came to the Guild Cave where there's a main mission. Okay. Interesting. So, I ended up looking this up because, fuck me if I could find this place. Um, the place you need to go to... Let me just go there first. Um, jeez. Sorry, I'm just need to get down to the hop. That knob gave almost clicked Oakfield. I did click Oakfield. Ah, here we are. Jeez, that's static sound. Yes, you sense a dick spot. Sure me. Oh, right in. Yeah. Alright, time to go back to the archaeologist. Okay, so there's no new archaeologist missions. Um, while I was looking up where that place was, I did read that you don't actually get archaeologist missions again till after you beat the main story. So, I guess this is one of those series where I'm going to do, like, ending for when the main story ends, 
but it will still continue, and the finale will be like when I finish all the side missions. But for now, we still got side missions to do. So that's the Crucible Champion. You are a Crucible Champion, but there are still records to be broken and prizes to be won. That sounds like it's not a mission, but more of a achievement thing. So it's the only one here that I can do. I hate the shooting range. Donating to the light doesn't really impress me. And sculptor, it's really only if you find new places. So yeah. And do the crucible. Now, if this is any different, I won't skip through it. Well, bless my eyes. Is that who I think it is? It is one of our most celebrated crucible champions. Oh, it does bring a blissful tear to one's cheek to have one of the family back, doesn't it, Mad Dog? Yeah, we're one big happy family. Or something. I hope you've come to compete. We have plenty of events for veterans such as yourself. Lots of blood still left to spill. Yep, let's do this. What are you waiting for? It's weird because the loading screen has a kind of white line around it, but yet the game is normally fine. Come back for more, have you? In your go, then. How do I know what records to beat? Okay, I want to do something. I just got a new coat, and it looks really good. Yeah. I wish you could, like, change the color a little. Also, how much of, um... The assassin suit do I have? Don't have the pants. Alright. I'll go back to what I had before. I didn't actually have a headgear. What am I doing? I'll stick to the highway man curve though. It looks really good. In my opinion. Feet? I thought I already had feet stuff on. Boom, there we go. Alright. That girl isn't here anymore. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have an old favorite for you today. A veteran of the crucible. The chosen one. And she's the record holder for this week's event. Can she beat her own performance? Oh no. Round one. I'm not going to be able to beat that. I think. Oh, good target. Grabby, grabby, 
I'm gonna have to use a different weapon for this, a faster one. Which one has my augments? Uh, both of these do. This one was my better one, though. Well, let's see how the new girl likes them. Second wave. Three, two, one, go! It didn't even open, it just... Boom. I'm going to be pretty silent through this because it's just the same thing. I'll probably end up jump cutting through it. Like showing the last seconds of each run. Hello, mate. I can afford level five a time to draw. I don't think I got all perfect rounds last time, but I'm gonna try this time. Maybe there's an achievement for it. What was the time limit I was running for? I don't know. Round six. Three, two, one, go! Oh, this is turning into one heck of a crucible! Maybe we only have two rounds to go! Perfect round! Oh, nice, it was perfect. I was a little worried that it wouldn't be because I got shot like five times. And I also used the potion. Even though I wasn't close to death. Two more rounds. Pelverines. Round which is easy. Two, one, go! 
Please, use my hammer for this. <laughs> Shot to the heart, and you're too late. Smashed in the face, and you're now lunch. Uh, where's the trail guiding me? Over here. Time to take out the golem. Or whatever it's called. I forget. I got my gun. Troll. Dark troll. There we go. I heard I bet the time because I didn't read the time again. Oh, but this is near. The chopper. Organs in this weapon make you resistant to scarring and allow you to have more experience in combat. Snacks belong to the legendary crystal fighter Mad Dog. The Strangler and Crawl. You set the standard by which all the other competitors would be judged. The day he retired, he promised to hand over his beloved weapon to one who could break his records, never believing such a day would come. Well, May, it did. Around the time Dragon Blades was felled by a great hero, the rumors of the Guild Master was murdered by the same hero. They say the words, your health is low, were carved on the Guild Master's <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, back for some more crucible hijinks. A brutal case oh, was... like honey from the heavens. Oh my god, that's perfect. It's just what I wanted to hear. Oh, I think that's just gonna repeat itself. You could probably get better rewards the more you do it. I'm not in the mood to do it though. It takes around ten or so minutes to do. And I'm just not in the mood. But, that was the last mission. And that means we can go into the main story. So... I'm actually going to stop there. And that's because I know I've only been recording for about an hour, but I'd rather do the main story... Um, if it's going to be the last part of the main story, due to the archaeologist mission not continuing into a while afterwards, and I'm assuming that's when more side quests open, um, I'm gonna wait until I can do it all in one go. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then. Bye.